Hey guys, take a minute to another video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where Safari cannot open the page when you're trying to navigate a website because your phone is not connected to the internet in this case, but it might be some other reason as well where it says this site cannot be open. This could happen on your other Apple devices as well, like iPad, MacBook. But there's a couple things you can do to help resolve this issue. And we're going to go through those troubleshooting steps so that you can fix this issue really fast so let's go let's dive right into it so first thing first whenever you get that issue is actually to verify a couple things here first thing you're going to verify the url that you're going to is correct let's say that you're going to some website sometimes it helps to have that www dot in front of it let's say google we're going to type it out make sure it's correct that it's not accidentally going to somewhere else or there's a typo here as that will not allow the safari application to open the website the next thing you want to check is your Wi-Fi connection. So to do that, you can pull down here and make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on. It should be blue just like that. You can also go into settings here and make sure that Wi-Fi connection here is on, on if you are on Wi-Fi. Of course, if you're on cellular, you want to make sure that your cellular data is turned on. We don't have cellular data set up here, but you want to check that as well. Now, if you know those are set up, the next thing you can do is go ahead and turn on airplane mode for a moment. What this will do is we're going to go ahead, turn it on, and then a few moments later, we're going to turn it back off. And you might wonder why we're doing this. This simply does a network or refresh so that if you're having any issues connectivity-wise, it will clear that for you. Along with that, you want to go ahead and click on your Wi-Fi again here. And this time, we're going to turn off Wi-Fi just for a moment, just like that, and it turn it back on. And it does, again, a network refresh, making sure you're getting good connection and that those bars are there and you're connected to your or Wi-Fi if you're using Wi-Fi. So those are a couple things to just to do right off the bat to make sure the connectivity is resolved. And hopefully it already fixed the issue. But if in the case that it didn't fix the issue, we can do other things as well. And the first thing that we want to do afterwards is go ahead and actually might be sounds really simple, but go ahead and open all the apps that you have open. So you want to put your finger just like I do, slide it up and you'll see some apps are open here. Safari, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and push it up so that it closes Safari here. And all of this, just relaunch it again, open it up one more time. And hopefully by this time, whatever site you're trying to reach, it will go to that site just like that. Now, it could be just simple as that. But in a case that it didn't do it just like that, we're going to move on to the next thing, which is opening up settings. And this time, we're going to go all the way down here and look for the Safari application here. So you can see here there's a bunch of apps here in the settings. So now we're going to look for Safari here. So we see Safari right here. We're going to click on Safari here. Now, after we do that, we're going to go down here and look for where it says clear history and website data. We can click on that, and then we'll clear all a history and data of our website that we visited. But before you do that, make sure you're OK with doing that, because if you have history saved or things for data for website, it will remove it. But in a case you can't really get Safari to work, this is good thing to do. We'll, it will also close out tabs, as you can see. So we'll close out the tabs as well along with it. Along with that, we can also go down here, the bottom here in the Safari settings, go to Advanced, and then look for Website Data. And then we'll click on with this Website Data. So let's go ahead and let's visit our website here. I'll show you just in a second. So if I went there and go back to hopefully here, as you can see, I have some Website Data. We also want to do is remove all website data and then remove now and it will remove website data and hopefully by now your safari is working now let's say safari still isn't working what else can you check so in the settings again we're going to look at this setting called screen time here so we'll look at screen time and then we'll look at this option for content and privacy restriction we're going to click on that and then we're going to click on the option for content restrictions and then once we look at that, there's a bunch of things going on here. But the one that we're interested in is web content right here. So in the web content here, we're going to click on that. And you want to make sure the option that you selected is unrestricted. Uh, let's say you're restricted to allowed website only. That means only these, these websites you can only go to. Or if you're limited to, uh, of course, adult website, it'll only do that. So you want to make sure it's unrestricted for you. So the website that you're going to is in classified under only of those and blocked and you can't reach it. So it's important to check that out as well. Now, if you have done all of that and you're still having issues, it's time to give the phone a nice little force restart. So the phone restarts in a clean way 
fixing any minor software issue that you might be having. So let's do a force restart. So how do you do a force restart? To perform a force restart on iPhone 8 and above, you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold this big side button. So in real time, I'm going to press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold this side button on my right hand side as you can see here I'm holding it I'm not gonna slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown I'm just gonna wait till the screen goes completely black just like that and then once it goes black I'm still gonna keep on holding till I see the Apple logo and then I let go of that side button here and again what this does is it gets the phone a nice reboot of reloading the code clearing out any software bugs and glitches that may be causing your Safari not to work correctly and we'll kind of go ahead and wait for the phone to start back up just like that and unlock it with our passcode or face ID that you have. Now we have done that and now let's say we're still having the issue and it's still not fixed. What's the next thing you can do? The next thing you can do is go into settings here and then this time in the settings here we're actually going to go to general and scroll all the way down now where it says transfer or reset iPhone we're gonna click on that and then we'll click on the option here for the first one which says reset now before you do anything we're gonna be doing this network reset setting but it's important to understand what a network uh, reset it does all it does is deletes things like your saved Wi-Fi connections that you had in the past things around the VPN connections anything network related setting it will not delete any photos videos or apps like that it's similar to like a forced restart it won't delete anything like that just simply doing a network reset so once you click on that it will take about a minute or two to do pretty quick it'll happen we won't do it just for sake of time here but if you need to do that go ahead and do that and wait for the phone to kind of do that process and then reconnect it to, to Wi-Fi if you're using Wi-Fi. Finally, if none of those issues has worked for you, the last thing you can pretty much do is update the software of your phone. So to do that on your iPhone, go into settings and then go to general software update and look to see if there's an update out. It will check for updates just like that. And if there's an update out, it will say download and install. As you can see, our phone is up to date to the latest version at the time of recording, so we're good there as well. So hopefully all of these tips that we mentioned at least help or one of them help you be able to use Safari and you can open up the app that you're looking to open up. And if this video is helpful, please make sure that like and subscribe. But I also want to hear from you guys which of these tips help you guys resolve your issue. Leave a comment in the comment section. See you guys next time.